Ryo Yamada faces challenges in his academic life due to his lax attitude and a reputation for rebellious behavior. While ascending the stairs, he observes Ora Shureishi, an exemplary student. Despite intending to walk past her, he slips and collides with her, leading to an unexpected turn of events. Upon regaining consciousness, he realizes he's inhabiting her body. They decide to spend the remainder of the school day in their exchanged bodies. Yamada uncovers that Ura has endured bullying, prompting him to inadvertently resolve the issue by confronting Rin Sasaki. A well-timed punch creates the impression that Yamada is unafraid of Ura, dissuading Sasaki from further harassment. As they attempt to revert to their original bodies, they discover that the catalyst for the swap was not the collision, but rather a kiss. Toronosuke Miyamura, the vice president of the student council, proposes a unique solution to their predicament by suggesting a date with Urara while still in swapped bodies. He also reveals his awareness of their secret. Through further experimentation, they learn that a kiss between Yamada and Toronosuke can trigger a body switch. Inspired by these developments, they decide to revive the Supernatural Studies Club. The narrative takes an unexpected turn when their classmate, Miyabi Ito, expresses a desire to join the club. Miyabi Ito becomes a member of the Paranormal Exploration Society, showcasing her assortment of supernatural artifacts. Enlisting the help of the group, she initiates a cleanup of the club room. While Yamada harbors a desire to exchange bodies with Urara to facilitate her taking supplementary exams, Miyabi interrupts their plans and stumbles upon the duo engaged in a kiss. Seizing the opportunity, Miyabi spreads gossip suggesting a romantic connection between the two. In an attempt to dispel the rumors, Yamada kisses Miyabi, triggering a body swap. However, as he endeavors to rectify the situation, he discovers that the gossip holds no weight, as nobody believes Miyabi's claims in the first place. Further exploration reveals that Miyabi was in debt to bullies for her paranormal acquisitions, and attempted to confront them in Yamada's form. After rescuing Miyabi from the predicament, they invite her to join the club, where they continue experimenting with kissing-induced body swaps. The student council takes notice of the club's activities, considering it a potential concern, and decides to keep a watchful eye on their endeavors. Yamada and Miyamura approach Haru Miyamazaki, the president of the student council, seeking financial support for the Supernatural Research Society. Unfortunately, their efforts prove futile, even after resorting to body swapping antics with their female counterparts. Yamazaki suggests that he might consider allocating funds if they can successfully persuade Urara to pursue higher education. During a school-related body swap with Urara, Yamada notices her unwell state. Concerned for her health, Yamada and the other club members decide to visit Urara's residence and her room. Upon Urara's return home and the subsequent body swap back to their original forms, Yamada expresses that he's been enjoying school more thanks to her presence, and playfully contemplates the idea of attending college. Surprisingly, Urara agrees to the proposal and decides to pursue a college education. During the school's outdoor excursion, Yamada and Urara decide to switch places, allowing her to stay in the sleeping quarters for focused study. As Yamada experiences a day in the shoes of Urara with their peers, he observes her newfound sociability and decides to switch back, not wanting to miss out on the social interaction for the sake of studying. Dani Odajiri, the school's other vice president, confronts Yamada about his clandestine entry into the girls' rooms. She threatens to expose pictures of him examining Urara's undergarments unless Urara skips an upcoming practice exam, intending to sabotage Toronosuke's bid for the council presidency. Although Urara is indifferent about missing the mock exam, Yamada devises a plan to have Nene kiss him, hoping to trigger a body swap and erase the compromising pictures. However, the anticipated body swap fails to occur, leaving Yamada questioning whether he has lost his extraordinary abilities. In an attempt to unravel the mystery, Miyabi and Toronosuke kiss him. The following day, Yamada is astonished to discover Toronosuke and Miyabi harboring romantic feelings for him. Subsequent kisses with them restore their normal states, leading Yamada to realize that he has gained the power to attract people through his encounter with Nene. Ura expresses her desire for a body swap, but Yamada attempts to delay the exchange. Eventually, he discloses his unique ability to Urara. Despite his efforts, Urara kisses him, leading to a sudden body swap. They soon realize that Yamada has acquired the capability to mimic a witch's power, while Urara now possesses the ability to switch bodies. Ene, who has been discreetly observing the situation, becomes visibly flustered. It dawns on her that she has developed feelings for Yamada due to her own spell. Yamada opens up about his past, recounting how he and Ushio were close friends in middle school until a confrontation with delinquents during high school caused a rift between them, resulting in Yamada's one-week suspension. Ushio, motivated by regret, manages to delete the compromising pictures and implores Yamada to return Nene to her normal state, leading to a resolution of their long-standing grudge. As the club investigates further, they come across an ancient notebook detailing the existence of seven witches, each possessing distinct powers. However, they discover that the second volume of the notebook is missing, leaving them with lingering questions and mysteries to unravel. The Supernatural Exploration Society, 
enjoys some summer festivities at the seaside, with the exception of Yamada, who finds himself attending supplementary classes in close proximity. During one of these sessions, Aurora switches bodies to excel, catching the attention of Meiko Atsuka, a fellow student in the supplementary class. Meiko attempts to forge a connection by kissing Yamada, but to no avail. The club deduces that Meiko must possess witch-like abilities. To gain access to the old club room, Yamada and his summer classmates must successfully navigate an examination. Yamada decides to kiss Meiko, discovering her witch power, telepathy. Leveraging this newfound ability, they collaborate to pass the exam, resulting in the clearance of the club room. Determined to uncover more witches independently, the club sets out on their quest for further supernatural discoveries. The society receives intel from Meiko about the existence of a fourth witch, Maria Sarashima, who has been absent from school. Yamada and Toronosuke pay a visit to Maria, who discloses her unique ability to foresee the immediate future. She had a vision of the old school building going up in flames, with them being wrongly accused. Maria initially stayed away to prevent the catastrophe, but circumstances have shifted. She mentions a guy she kissed, Kentaro Tsubaki, who may be linked to the ominous vision. Investigating further, Yamada discovers that Kentaro harbors feelings for Urara and has a penchant for frying temper in the old building. The club devises a plan to orchestrate a shopping excursion with Yamada posing as Urar on the night of the predicted fire. However, the vision remains unchanged. Kentaro, confessing his feelings to Urara, faces bold rejection until Yamada intervenes with a kiss. Distraught, Kentaro retreats to the old classroom and is on the verge of igniting the burner when Yamada and Urara arrive in the nick of time to prevent disaster. In the aftermath, Kentaro joins the club, marking a new addition to their diverse group. The society is assigned the task of putting an end to a group of junior troublemakers led by Noah Takagawa. Noah possesses the ability to uncover the past vulnerabilities of individuals. Despite Yamada's efforts to reason with Noah and convince her to cease her disruptive actions, he finds himself unsuccessful. As the situation escalates, Noah's accomplices vandalize the club room and make off with their notebook. In their efforts to recover the stolen item, they discover from Yamazaki that Noah intends to eliminate the witches, believing that by doing so, their powers will be transferred to Noah's friends. The club manages to apprehend Noah's friends, hoping to persuade Noah to abandon her plan. Although initially resistant, Noah's friends eventually manage to sway her towards a change of heart. During a critical moment, when Yamada questions Noah about her true motivations, she kisses him, revealing the underlying trauma that haunts her past. Moved by empathy, Yamada steps in to assist Noah and her friends in clearing their names, bringing about a resolution to the turmoil. During the school festivities, Maria Sarashima approaches Yamada seeking a way to nullify her unique power. Yamada encounters Shinichi Tamaki, who possesses the ability to erase powers but is currently endowed with the capability to render himself invisible to anyone he kisses. Tamaki agrees to eliminate Maria's power under one condition, he must assume the role of student council president. Yamada attempts to inquire from Haruma about his potential successor, but Haruma remains reticent. Instead, he proposes a challenge. The team that can identify the seventh witch will have their candidate elected as the new president. In an unexpected turn, Maria accidentally kisses Yamada in gratitude, triggering a vision. Yamada envisions Tamaki as president, with Urar as his secretary, appearing melancholic. Concerned by this vision, Yamada decides to support Toronosuke in the quest to uncover the identity of the seventh witch, hoping to alter the course of events. Yamada and his companions, engaged in the search for the elusive seventh witch, encounter Miyamura's elder sister, Leona. Leona has intentionally avoided attending school to evade the witch possessing a unique memory loss ability. Upon learning the name of the seventh witch, all recollections related to that witch would be wiped clean, including memories of Shureishi. Despite the potential consequence of forgetting Shureishi, Yamada bravely declares, it's no significant matter, and proceeds to extract the name of the seventh witch from Leona. Driven by his determination to alter the future for Urara, Yamada implores his fellow members in the supernatural club to rein me in. He then confides in Yamazaki, divulging the name of the witch in question. Observing Urara distressed, and in tears, Yamada feels compelled to kiss her in an attempt to confirm her status as a witch. However, Urara rebuffs his advance. Undeterred, Yamada and Tamaki embark on a quest to find a solution to restore their friend's memories, refusing to concede defeat. A surprising turn of events unfolds as Nene recovers her lost memories. It becomes apparent that a witch, through a kiss from Yamada, can reclaim their forgotten recollections. In the midst of these revelations, Rika Seonji re-emerges before Yamada, shedding light on the mystery surrounding the erasure of those who knew the names of all seven witches. Astonishingly, the revelation surfaces that when all the witches unite, any wish can materialize. Yamada and his comrades find themselves tasked with uniting all seven witches to carry out the mystical ritual. Three individuals remain. Aurora, Makoto Asuka, and Rika. Eager to rescue Aurora, Yamada plans to visit Makoto's residence accompanied by Miyamura, the club president. 
However, their path is blocked by Yamada's sister, Leona Miyamura. Leona, recognizing Yamada's impatience, advises him to prioritize persuading Rika before focusing on Urara. In an attempt to sway Rika, Yamada explores the option of bringing Leona to school instead of participating in the ritual. Leona, reflecting on her past, reveals her involvement in the Supernatural Studies Club alongside Harumi Yamazaki. During their exploration of the witch legend, Yamazaki's memory was erased, prompting Leona to flee Suzaku High School. Rika discloses her intention to follow suit and escape from her predicament. And this is all for this video, make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.